Right, guys, it has arrived. It's arrived. The Ultimate Art of War, a step-by-step -step illustrated guide to the Sun, to Sun Tzu's teachings by Anthony Cummins. That's moi. It's about yay big. It's got a pinkish affair because half the pages are red. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it around and uh, give you a look at the book. Okay, let's have a look. So The Art of War, The Ultimate Guide. So I'll just give you a quick run through. So table of contents. You can see that it's pink because it's got this red border on it. Um, this is just basically the, the ideograms, the kanji have been done by Monk Yamamoto. So let me show you Monk Yamamoto's face. So there's the monk. He's done the calligraphy for the book. Now, this is just the introduction. It talks about why the original bamboo scrolls, what the kanji is, things like that. And then you start to get an understanding of the, the size of military troops in ancient China. And then we actually get on to the art of war itself. Now, I actually got a forward from a guy called Derek, and I think I'm pronouncing this right, Yuan. Yuan. And uh, he's got a PhD in strategic studies from the University of Reading. He's the author of Deciphering Sun Tzu uh, from Oxford University Press. He's based in Hong Kong and he's doing synthesis of Chinese Western strategic thought essays. And basically, he knows his stuff about ancient China. And I sent him this book to proof. And I was so happy. He was like, he was, I was like scared because you've got a proper Chinese man, English educated, works in Hong Kong, who actually has wrote a book on Sun Tzu. And I was like, and he was like, no, Anthony, brilliant. Well done. Ten points. And he gave me a great forward for it. So chapter one. The Scroll of Preparation and Plans. I have actually re-translated these titles just to show that what this actually means for you to understand instead of it being a literal translation. OK, so as you can see, we start at lesson one and we start moving through the book. Now, the beginning just goes through the different kanji, the different types of stuff, because it's laying down the foundations for the art of war. But here about lesson 13, we start to get into how to move your tactics, how to move your troops, different ways that troops should be moved, different blocking points. Now, I won't go through everything, but a lot of it is just a picture to give you an idea of what it is. But you will get... So let me show you. Here's some more. But of course, in the war room, you've got to use your pieces. Everybody doesn't realise samurai and ancient Chinese use models. They used a lot of models. So let's start with number two, the scroll of battle preparation. Now, what you will find is we've got the original Sun Tzu here by Giles, just so you can check where you are. And then what I've done is broken that section down and created the lessons here, which they are all broken down for you until you get to the next Giles section. So as you can see, it's very simple to follow, very easy to understand. The lessons are easily laid out and they show exactly what you will need. So, and some of the lessons are more realistic in the sense that they show you what you should actually do, um, while others are more a case of um, symbolic. But for example, these are siege walls, how to dig ramparts, um, basically fields. But that is symbolic because it's fields of the dead. So I know you can't see it there, but that's little skulls. It then talks about how the different, if you're outnumbered, if 10 to 1, 5 to 1, 2 to 1, or if you outnumber the enemy, the different sizes. So, for example, if you're equal, you attack. If you're not equal, you defend. If you're really small, you retreat. Simple, basic. It puts it in a simple way. Even though Sun Tzu says all that, most people don't really get it most of the time. So what we've done is put that in. Am I equal to him attacking with tactics? Am I half? Well, don't run away, but at least give up a decent defense. And if I'm clearly too small, run away. Run away! Here we have lesson 64, the different ways you can make up an army with units of five and different units. Uh, you sh this is excellent, how to do the direct and indirect attacks, uh, idea of using yin-yang. The five musical notes, how cool is that? And according to Jay, they should be correct. Um, these types of things, is, it's okay having a lot of power and force, but what if you don't hit at the right timing? So the idea is power and force versus timing. There's also lots of stuff like how to give distractions and move over, the art of being invisible to the enemy, um, how to divide and conquer, which is obvious. Uh, of interest, 
See this map? It used to be a map of China, but because this book was printed in China, they don't allow maps of China to leave China. So we had to change it literally minutes before it went to press. Jay stayed up late at night to do it uh, so we could get it in Chinese time. How bizarre is that? Uh, you've all seen this, the, the phases of destruction and creation with the five elements. Those of you who are familiar with this, that was taken up by Takeda Shingen, be as swift as the wind, as odd as a forest, st uh, static as a mountain, as um, intense as fire, as unobservable as night, and as quick as lightning. So you see, that's why you can sort of get memory hooks going. Again, another Chinese map we had to change. This one is quite interesting. Basically, you only ever attack when the enemy is on a down sway. When the enemy starts to pull themselves back, go into defense till you've moved them. Once they're then in a downward sort of energy, attack again. If their energy picks up, then defend. It's all this idea of rhythms within, you know, when Sun Tzu talks about rhythms within the en en enemy. Rhythms within the enemy, I should say. We did a little bit of the kanji for you. I've not gone mad on this because um, it's actually difficult. A lot of ancient, a lot of the old Chinese uh, will argue about the differences in the, the kanji and the meanings from other across the history of China. So we've more gone for simplifying it than giving you complex ideas. If you're following my other channel, which is Natori Ryu, you, you can follow YouTube Natori Ryu and Stacy is doing a. Um, a series of videos on the Art of War for me on the other channel and she's actually starting with this lesson. So if you haven't already, subscribe to Natori Ryu and follow Stacy's videos. Different methods for crossing rivers uh, to get across and how you should move your troops and how you should attack. Now, different types of ground. You've all know, if you've read Sun Tzu, there's lots of different types of ground. So I've brought these out into reality for you so you can understand them. And especially things like floodplains, how not to go near a floodplain, flash floods. And then he t the different translations of the different areas like ravines, heaven's prison, heaven's net, heaven's trap. Actually, it's wetlands and marsh, dense growth, valleys surrounded, things like that. Now, something a lot of people know about but don't really visualise is the columns of smoke talked about in Sun Tzu. Now, these are the visual aids for the different types of smoke that end up in the air. Now, uh, it took me a long time to put these two together, uh, these four together, but hopefully you'll all be able to understand it from that now. Again, different types of ground and how to retreat and get off. So we've got accessible terrain, no retreat terrain, standoff terrain. These are the basically the six types of battle surrounded terrain, uh, steep and dangerous terrain, and as you can see, open terrain, i.e. it's massively open. The ways of poor leadership there, that's all in that section. Now it moves on to using elite troops. How should you use elite troops and blocking troops, things like that. Again, do not let the enemy form up, keep them off beat, keep them out of rhythm. For those who follow Samurai Ways, this lesson 187 is one of the most important lessons you'll ever learn, especially if you follow Natori Ryu. So all Natori Ryu students, this is a major lesson. So can you see the scroll of attacking by fire? So that this is all of the incendiary warfare, different things you burn. So burn people, burn stores, burn vehicles and supplies, burn buildings and burn formations. Now, this one was interesting. It's when you know there's going to be rainy days. This happens to be in the Shoninki as well, taken from Sun Tzu. But um, these are the actual stars he's talking about when the moon goes past them. We got a zombie in there. Hail to the king, baby. Of course, the use of spies, the scroll on using spies. So we've done all the different stuff here for you ninja fans. So if you're a ninja fan, you absolutely should. There's the local spy. There's the internal spy, converted spies, uh, doom spies, living spies. It's all there for you. Creating close bonds, money, networks, um, executions, assassinations. All of this basically in the end. However, we've got something very special, which I put in at the end, which is the complete strategy of Sun Tzu. But here you go. This is all of Sun Tzu, all of it in bullet points. The way, uh, disarming of the enemy, 
the heaven sky observation that every is every single bullet point every single teaching from sun tzu in one bullet point meaning that anything that is doubled up on i've re taken away and made it into a structured order i changed sun tzu's order to put it in the right order basically because i think the manual has been messed with so it goes all the way through everything all the way up to organization and that's it and then we get to the index so that is the complete sun tzu in bullet point form and it will be for download guys on my website we're just doing the posters now so do check uh, sorry there'll be no link do check www.natori.co.uk click anthony cummings and look for um downloads and basically the sun tzu posters i'm going to have everything there uh, there's already one download there for just that bullet point list but there will be posters very soon so guys that's it that's the complete the ultimate sorry art of war a step-by-step -step illustrated guide to sun tzu's teachings by me it took me a long time to do now it wasn't uh difficult in the sense that it wasn't complicated but it took it was a long process of deleting this taking that so it took a lot of effort and a lot of energy and uh, a lot of my time but finally after all these sort of like couple of years doing it or however long i've been doing it now i can't quite remember it's in my hands and that's it the art of war and it's out now uh for pre-order and it will be out october in 2019 so if you're watching this video after 2019 there uh, you it's out it's there so please get yourself a copy guys and become a bit of an expert on Sun Tzu to be fair I wrote this book because it didn't exist it simply didn't exist I was trying to find a book that broke Sun Tzu down I found comic books I found all sorts and they were the good books and some of the books were amazing on their detailed analysis their footnotes but there was nothing that just says hey this is what he's actually saying so I went and wrote it so there you go, guys. Let me know what you think down below. If you've got a copy uh, by the time it's out, please tell me what you think of it. And I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys think of the new version of The Art of War.